they do look really smooth the Dutch player a lot smoother than their start we're looking at uh, on the right of your picture San, Sander de Graaf from the Theta Club in the stroke seat of the boat that's nearest to Stern and Vince Klassen's from Proteus Aertes Club came out of the 8 in Lucerne and into this pair it came 11th in Belgrade of the first World Cup not exactly one of the fastest pairs you'd think in the world but they seem to have found a bit of magic certainly in the first part of this race Netherlands go through the 1000 in 316 and then just behind them it's Belarusia and Poland Britain yet to show and uh, the time of the Dutch just slightly slower than the Romanians who went through in 313 so it's about 3 seconds slower than the previous heat it just gives you some idea. Belarus, they really do like to smack it along, these two boys from the Belarusian team. Fuhrman, 28. Valesleko in the stroke seat, just 25 years of age, with his cap set back. And uh, fourth place finish for them in the World Cup in Linz. They should really go through the Dutch pair if forms anything to go by. We still haven't seen the British pair at all yet, have we, Kat? Yeah, I wonder what we're going to see from them in these closing stages. Belarus looking really strong there up next to Netherlands, but see what the Brits have got in terms of a sprint in this last half of the race. Well, with Jürgen Grobler's training programme, the German coach who looks after all the British squad, you know these guys have got the endurance and also the technique. They're coached by Steve Trapmore, of course, is the coach of the Cambridge Boat Race crew. We can see them now coming into contention. Belarus closest to you, the British edging, edging ever closer. And then the Netherlands just there in the middle lane and then on the left of your pitch you can see our Donovan and Driscoll the Irish pair really with their high rating trying to get into the picture the poles at the top in the white boat uh, Polyaskaya and Modlinski so the compelling race is the Belarusians at uh, stroke Sihari Badzako in Yeah, they are. These two having a good season so far with their results from uh, Linz and Belgrade. Uh, they also got a medal in, in uh, sorry, they got a medal in Belgrade, but it's the, it's the... Well, it's the British coming through, isn't it? A fantastic sprint from the British pair. Matt Roster in the stroke seat, and of course Matt was in the four last year. They got a bronze medal at the World Championships. We're looking at the Belarusians, but the sprint really, the action is coming from the British pair. And they are desperately coming, what about, they've got plenty of time, they're not into red boys yet, about 250 metres to go now. Ollie Cook in the bow seat, you can see his blade there, and their bows are coming through. That is a great move from the British pair, pretty much. The Dutch are matching them now up at 41, not willing to let them go easily. So we're coming into the finish, Belarusia. There will two of these three crews will qualify directly for the semi-final. The Dutch are still holding the British. Matt Roster trying his best, but the British are still behind. They haven't got through the Dutch. I think they might even just be level now. Yeah, the British are now running level with the Dutch pair and ahead of them. The Dutch have cracked. The Belarusians have rode out of their skins. They will take the win, it looks like. Britain coming through trying to track them. They're the Belarusians pair of uh, Filman and Valetsko. They hit the line first. Britain only just behind. A great finish, Cat, and the Dutch absolutely exhausted. We'll have to go through to tomorrow's repechage. Ireland coming in in fourth place. At the top of your picture, the Poles just drifting off.